एवरी वन वेलकम टू अवर ई पाटिया लेक्चर्स यूट्यूब चैनल सो वी आर गॉन डिस्कस अबाउट क्यूब्स एंड डाइसिस इन द पार्ट वन हैव एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन फोर डाइस एंड थ्री डाइजिस सो इन दिस पार्ट विल स्टडी हाउ टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन टू डाइजिस so here are two dices given and for this dices you have to find what is the opposite face of 4 how would you solve this problem so like three or four dices you can't eliminate which is adjacent because only two and one gets eliminated and remaining five and six are there so on majority basis also you can't find what is opposite to 4 so for this types of sums i will tell you certain logic which you have to remember so there are four steps in this so you have to keep checking all the four steps so that you would get the answer very easily so i am going to teach you first step now in the first step see whether same number is present on same faces of the cube or a dice is it present is one is present in the front face of the first dice as well as in the second dice so same number and same face so step 1 is same number in same face then the remaining two faces will be opposite to each other so if same number same faces if this condition is satisfied then the remaining two faces will be opposite to each other so from this we can conclude that 2 is opposite to 5 and 4 is opposite to 6 so if suppose if they have asked what is opposite to 1 so from this we can easily find that a dice has a six faces and except three all the numbers you can find here and obviously the number that is opposite to 1 is 3 let's solve a similar problem so that you get a more clarity okay this is a given problem and they have asked you to find the opposite phase of 4 so here you can see step 1 that is same number on the same face check for it as same number it is found on the same face that is on the top face of both the dices you can find number 5 and therefore then the remaining faces will be opposite to each other therefore opposite of 3 is 1 and opposite of 4 is 2 so then what will be opposite to 5 so we are left out only with 6 therefore the number that is opposite to 5 is 6 so but they have asked only for 4 so we can conclude that 2 is opposite to 4 and 3 is opposite to 1 now let's move to second step so if the condition mentioned in step 1 fails then go through the second step so the second condition is that if two numbers are same irrespective of their face then the other number will be opposite irrespective of its face so remember if two numbers are same irrespective of their face then the other number will be opposite irrespective of its face so you can observe here the two numbers are same that is 2 and 1 they are same 
but they are on different faces they are telling not to consider their faces then the other face will be opposite to each other that means 4 and 6 will be opposite to each other and by this condition we can say that 4 is opposite to 6 let's solve a similar problem so this is a given question so you have to find the opposite face opposite number of 3 so here that condition you can check here two numbers 6 and 5 they are present so as our condition says if two numbers are same irrespective of their faces then the other number will be opposite irrespective of its face therefore 5 and 6 are similar here so 3 will be opposite to 4 so let's study about step 3 so in this given question you have to find the opposite number of 2 so you can clearly see that no number is similar that is the number in the first dice it is entirely different from the second dice so in such kind of situation follow a simple logic and remember the logic first the top portion of the first dice and the right side of the second dice will be always opposite and the front portion of the first dice and the top portion of the second dice will always be opposite and then the right side of the first dice and the front side of the second dice will always be opposite only if the numbers are different in both the dices so remember first dice and second dice top portion of the first dice it will be opposite to right side of the second dice and the front side of the first dice it will be opposite to top of the second dice and the right side of the first dice it will be opposite to front side of the second dice so remember this logic so just note it somewhere so that it will be easy for you guys so from this you can conclude that 6 is the opposite number of 2 so let's move on to next question this is a question given and you have to find the opposite of 1 so here also you can observe that all the dices that shown here has a different number that means you have to follow the logic top first top it will be opposite to second right and first friend it will be opposite to second top and the first right it will be opposite to second friend from this condition it is clear that the opposite number that is present to 1 is 4 so let's move to step 4 so here you have to find the number that is opposite to 4 so here you can see that only one number is similar that is also in different face so in this condition what you have to do is so observe the first dice one is present on front side and in the second dice one is present on right side so just shift this one to front side and then opt automatically two goes upward and three comes the right side so 
So make it a cycle instead of swapping. So now the dice appears as 1, 2 and 3. And from this 1 and 1 will be on same face. This condition will be satisfied and the others will be opposite to each other. Therefore, the number that is opposite to 4 is 2 and the number that is opposite to 6 is 3. So, this is a given dice. You have to find the opposite number of 2. So, from this dice, it is clear that there is one number that is similar, that is 4. So you can see here in the first dice, 4 is present on right side and in the second dice, 4 is present on front side. So what you have to do, just move 4 to right side of the second dice. So since it is a cyclic process, 6 from the right side, it goes to top portion and 3 from the top, it comes to front position. So now the dice appears as 4, 6 and 3. So this is how the dice appears. So this satisfies the first condition that same number on the same face. Then the other two will be opposite to each other. Therefore, the number that is opposite to 2 is 6 and the number that is opposite to 1 is 3. So, we have solved all the questions based on two dices. There are four steps. We have solved all the four steps and this is a question for your practice. Just pause the video, watch it, see the question. Check which condition applies for it, first, second, third or fourth and then find the answer and finally play the video and find for the result. So this is a given dice and you have to find the number that is opposite to 6. So see the first condition, same number on the same piece. So same number is not present. So, obviously, this will be step 3 because all the numbers are different on both the dices. So, first die stop, it will be opposite to second dice. And the front of the first dice will be opposite to top of the second dice. And the right of the first dice, it will be opposite to front of the second dice. And from this, we can conclude that the opposite number to 6 is 3. Hope you guys are clear with the concept. So keep practicing more and more problems so that it will be easy for you guys in the exams. See you in the next session. Thank you.